Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Fox and I am so excited to be back with another Sims 4 speed building video. Thank you so much for joining me today as we tackle part two of the Tudor Mansion. So if you haven't seen part one, I'll link it for you guys. I definitely recommend checking that one out before jumping in to this one. Uh, part one, we did all the exterior and part two, we're doing the interior. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to think if we did anything else in part one, but we didn't. It was just the exterior um, and now we are moving on into the interior. So this is the video for those of you who don't remember uh, over on my Instagram, who voted for it to be split into two parts. And I'm super thankful that you guys were happy to do that because we're sitting at about 35 minutes for today's video and I cut out as much as I possibly could in this one. Um, I think I cut out all of the bathrooms, but I do include screenshots of everything. So you will see that at the end. But yeah, if I had have included part one and part two together, the video would have been over an hour long. And firstly, I don't think I can talk for that long. And secondly, I don't think that watching a video for over an hour is very enjoyable. So I think we're pushing it a little bit here. But anyway, you guys know the drill. Grab yourselves a coffee or a tea and a snack and sit back and enjoy the video. So jumping straight in, we start with the kitchen. This is something that I usually do in all of my builds. Um, I feel like the kitchen generally sets the tone for the rest of the house. And you'll see that I struggled immensely with the layout of the kitchen. Um, and I kept as much of the struggles in as bearable for me to watch back but um, I do end up separating the kitchen with a bit of a butler's pantry um, just to put like the fridge and the microwave and that kind of stuff in there and also just to kind of make the space a little bit smaller because it was a very large kitchen and I do just want to say that right now we are using the counters and cabinets that came from cool kitchen stuff I believe I do swap them out off camera um, for some base game ones because as I said generally the kitchen sets the tone of the house for me however the house took a slightly different turn with the furnishings I made it a little bit more older style I guess a bit more classical um, in the furnishings and I felt like the kitchen just kind of felt off like I feel like the cabinets were a bit too modern if that makes sense so I do swap them out again there's screenshots at the end I actually didn't record myself doing that um, so I couldn't include the footage of me changing everything but it was a long, tedious process to change everything over. But anyway, you'll see that we have pulled out some clutter. I spent a lot of time going through the debug menu and just the general build by menu to find as much clutter as I could um, for this house. I really struggled a lot with the detail in this one just because it's such a big house and I also feel like the personality of the family wasn't very strong so if you don't know this is intended for the Villarreal 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 family um so I did build it specifically for them and I just feel like that family is lacking a little bit of personality. Um, so I remember the father's name now. It's Jack. Jack, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm wrong, but he's in the criminal career. 
Um, he doesn't really have much else going for him other than just being like the bad guy, I guess. So he's kind of like an old school vintage gangster, I guess. Um, so there wasn't like, there's not really a lot of personality with that, I guess, but yeah, I don't know. It just made it hard because he being the head of the family kind of sets the tone for the whole house and I just didn't really feel a lot of personality from him. Um, his children, he has two teens, Hugo and Luna. Hugo is a foodie, um, so I did add the garden outside obviously for him and I imagine he probably spends a lot of time in this kitchen here. Um, and then Luna is just the only skill I think she has is charismatic charisma charisma because she just wants to be popular I guess so I just made her the very stereotypical teen like wanting to be popular um, and her bedroom has a lot of personality but it didn't really fit with like the vibe of the house as well so made it a little bit hard and then there's obviously the child Max who is evil and will take after his father so um yeah, he didn't really have a lot going for him either. So I don't know. I feel like the Villarreal family are not very fleshed out in personality or storylines. So I struggled quite a lot with the furnishings of the house and I ended up just trying to go for a style that I think looked good together. I went with like a slightly darker theme, more blacks and dark browns and things like that. And I think that they work the best um, for this family and for this house as well. Um, this here is the like breakfast nook area, I guess. There's a lot of eating spaces in this one. Um, just kind of trying to fill the space really. So this I imagine is where they would probably eat breakfast. It's just right off the kitchen. There's not really that much going on in here. Um, and then off to the left of this room is a formal dining room with a bar. And then outside there's also a like dining area on the patio. And then there's also the barbecue area at the back as well, which I included in part one. So again, if you haven't watched part one, I definitely recommend doing so. I tend to enjoy watching the exteriors of builds more than the interiors. So for me personally, part one is my favorite. Um, that's not to say that I don't like the interior of this build because I definitely do. Once it finally started to come together, I was very happy with it, but um, there's just something about the exterior of a build coming together that I enjoy a lot more. But this is the formal dining room that I was talking about. I think we get a fireplace in here. And as I said, a bar. Um, it takes me a little bit to get it to all come together. I have cut out so much footage of me scrolling through menus, trying to find things and trying different color schemes and and all of that because I was just so indecisive. I didn't know what really looked the best um, for this house. It felt like really dark, like in a bad way for a little bit, but I think that in the end it all kind of really come together and I kind of get that sort of like vintage glamour old school gangster vibes, I guess, which is all I was really going for because obviously um, Jacques would be the one deciding what the whole house looks like because it's his house, I guess. So I do just want to quickly mention, if you can hear meowing in the background, that is my cat or one of my cats. Um, I have three. One of them has decided that he does not want to take a nap and wants to roam around the house howling. So I do apologize if you can hear him in the background. Um, I'm hoping he will settle soon, but yeah, just wanted to mention that if you can hear anything in the background, it is him meowing for attention, um, <laughs> which he's not getting right now, but yeah. Anyway, you could see that the bar is now 
in I don't usually include bars in my builds so this was like a really nice change and then we just get like a little side table here with some books and some candles um I originally use a tool mod to size down the bookcases to make them line up with the fireplace um but I just decided it looked better to just have it like larger I don't know you guys will have to let me know what you think um the tool mod has become like such an integral part of my builds now too I'm still learning um there's still a lot that I don't understand how to use with it but I'm getting much much better the more I practice and I definitely do recommend uh that mod if you guys haven't gotten it yet it is worth downloading if you can because I know on console you unfortunately cannot download anything can you use a gallery on console you guys will have to let me know let me know if you can use the gallery on console because I've never played on console before so um I'm completely unfamiliar but yeah anyway I've just talked over a lot of the hallways so you'll see here there's like three separate like hallway rooms which was not intentional but I just wanted to break up the space a lot more so there are a lot of like larger hallways leading out to certain different places and different rooms in this one this house is enormous and the floor plan was not my best but I do think that it's the only floor plan that would work for me at the time of building this so it's definitely not the most eloquent for floor plan or the most you know flowing floor plan but I I'm happy with it overall um it ends up being a four bedroom five bedroom sorry because there is the butler's quarter but there's five bedrooms there's a playroom there's a kids lounge room there's this lounge room here the formal dining room the kitchen the sort of breakfast nook um a study for Jacques and also a like another formal living room so there's a lot of rooms in this one um and I had a lot of like space to kind of cover um and I struggled quite a lot with furnishing all of the rooms but I'm happy with how they turned out in the end this room here is the downstairs like family living room so we use the couches from the desert Lux kit and I don't really use those often but they are just really beautiful couches so I use them in here with a green rug and just try to bring in some like different colored elements I guess because it was feeling kind of really dark as I said we also end up with the football table game I'm not sure what it's called but the don't wake the llama table I put a fish tank in here as well as a little um, toy box for Max and also a dartboard and just kind of made this like sort of like the family games room um for downstairs because there is like a, a kids games room upstairs that's decorated heavily uh with kids toys and activities but this is kind of like I guess the more like formal kind of games room because I just didn't know what to do with this space here and I just wanted to have some more like activities I guess but um yeah if you guys can think of a better floor plan and you would like to download and renovate I would like to see that so uh, tag me on Instagram um, at Arcade Fox or even on Twitter at Arcade Fox with an underscore at the end if you do decide to download it and change anything about it because I've not been as creative <laughs> as I normally am lately and I think you guys would probably be able to come up with something a bit better like use of space here but you'll see we're just popping some clutter around a little side table with a lamp just trying to fill out the space and make it feel like full and lived in 
Um, but I didn't want to go too overboard either because I feel like once you like really clutter one room up, you kind of got to carry that through the rest of the house. And at this point in the build, I was just really struggling. So, um, I tried to keep it a little bit more like low key, a little bit more simple, but moving on, this is the entryway. You'll see that there's another hallway off to the left that I did furnish off camera in there. There is a wardrobe and just like, I think like a chair and some plants. There's nothing special going on, but the entryway here, it was a like awkward shape with the stairs and all of the kind of like um, archways and stuff. So I just get some counters which these are the ones I end up using in the kitchen as well because I just feel like they had that style I was going for uh, so I use them here they're the same ones that I used in the lounge room too so um, I just tried to keep it cohesive through the rest of the house so we just place some ottomans here some pictures on the wall and then this here is the butler's or the entry to the butler's like living quarters so I gave them a little like entry room where they have like a lot of their work stuff so I try to include like some cleaning products and some aprons and shoes and things like that for them to like kind of get ready before they go out to see the family and then this is where I imagine the butler would live so I give them like a little kitchen nook um, a little like living area and also like a sleeping like a bed, <laughs> a little area for them to sleep. Um, I did kind of imagine a bit of a personality for this butler as I was building it, uh, building this room just to help me get through building. Um, <laughs> so I imagine that it is a female butler who's probably been with the family for a really, really long time. Um, and she's obviously a live-in butler slash nanny. She probably has a lot more to do with the kids than Jacques does. Um, and she likes fitness and like yoga and like wellness. And she's just into making sure the kids are happy and healthy. And she kind of turns a blind eye to a lot of the trouble that would probably go on with this family. So she just tries to do her best and yeah gets paid to take care of the children and and do all the cooking and cleaning so the laundry room um in this house is actually through the door that you can see on screen now to the right um that leads out to where the clotheslines are sorry um <laughs> i put this here deliberately because I don't think that the rest of the Villarreal family would have anything to do with the cleaning. So the laundry is off the butler's living space. And then there's also a bathroom in there, which is a private bathroom for this butler. Um, again, I don't show that on camera and I actually don't believe I show the furnishings of the laundry either, but we will have to see You'll have to forgive me if I'm wrong. It's again been some time since I actually built this one. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am pregnant. I am about to have my second child. I'm like three weeks away um, at this point. So I'm just trying to get as many um, videos pre recorded and out as I can. When you guys see this, I might. No, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure when this video is going out, but um, I might already have little baby by the time this video goes out. And if not, I'm sure it won't be long after this one anyway. But um, if you guys are interested in any updates and things like that, follow me over on my Instagram. I do try and be active there, at least on my stories at the moment. Um, I haven't been posting much because I've been focusing on trying to get youtube content recorded but um yeah you'll be able to see here uh that we have moved on into this kind of like formal living area so there's no tv in here there's a piano some more bookcases um i use these couches from cottage living in this like green swatch which i think is beautiful just trying to tie all like the leather and brown 
colors in. This is probably like one of my favorite rooms in the house, which is funny to say because it's quite simple, but I just love how it came together. And you'll see slightly off camera there that there is two bathrooms. There's a bathroom that you can access from this room here. There's also um, the butler's pantry right next door. So there's a lot of bathrooms in this one. I can't remember how many there are exactly. I think there's three bathrooms downstairs and each child has their own bathroom except for I think Max and Hugo share like a Jack and Jill style bathroom but there's a lot of bathrooms in this one so if you do download this build for a different family or you have a different family in mind for it um, there's a lot of space in this one and you can even probably make the bedrooms like a lot smaller you could turn some of these rooms downstairs into more bedrooms if you wanted you could probably yeah fit like eight sims in this house if very easily if you wanted to but this here is Jacques office um I included a lot of the like criminal career memorabilia like the baseball bat and the stolen ATM and stuff um and just put one of the what's it called the juice table things I think it's supposed to be like I, I'm not sure what it is, but I just put it in there as another little activity. And anyway, we have moved on upstairs into the first room that I decorate on camera, which is the playroom. And this is just, this room is completely different from the rest of the build. It is super colorful, super fun. I imagine that the butler probably put all of this together and has, you know, the kids have decorated it themselves over time so there's every single like game that I could think of pulling out for um, Max there's the puppet show the tent there is a toy box a doll's house which is the one that came from the kids little campers kit I think it was um, there's the creativity table the void is the void critter game station um, there's a lot in there and then directly off of it is this little space here which I imagine is like the upstairs kids hangout so again I put lots of like kids related stuff obviously there's a tv there's a games cube thing um so they can play video games up here I also get a keyboard um in here um a guitar and just lots of like different activities for the kids and different kids clutter and stuff like that um and yeah I'm really happy with how this one turned out this like upstairs is obviously like got a little bit more personality I would say than the rest of like the house um and that's just because I was able to go crazy with kids stuff and add all these like collection things um and like bits and pieces and clutter that kids would definitely have um in their sort of space I don't imagine that their dad comes in here very often um I don't imagine that he's home very often <laughs> he's out doing criminal things so the kids kind of have to fend for themselves and they've just created their own little space so this is it I don't think um Luna would spend much time in here either this is kind of like the boys hangout zone I also added some stuff for dogs because I I gave the Villarreals a, a makeover and I gave them two dogs so I included some stuff from for them you'll see downstairs that I added some food bowls as well again if you wanted to have a different family living here you could change whatever you need to change and add a kitty litter there's heaps and heaps of space for that kind of stuff but moving on we are starting off decorating Max's bedroom um, you'll see that I've already decorated the bathroom that he shares with his brother Hugo and all of the kids have the large wardrobes um, I'm not sure what pack they actually come from but I don't get to use those often because they take up four tiles so I usually use the two tile one but to just kind of fill out the space a little bit I went for the bigger ones and I will just say that I struggled immensely with the boys bedrooms so with Max and Hugo's bedrooms I struggled so much um, I can't remember how much I exactly cut out but if the video is a bit jumpy here 
that is why because I just had I had no idea what I wanted to do I went with this blue and red theme um, but I would used so much like of the kids stuff in the playroom and things like that and as I said like Max's like only personality trait is that he's evil so it was very hard to kind of put together like a room for him but I'm happy with how it turned out in the end it just was like very much a struggle and I spent a really long time searching through the catalogue to find pieces that I wanted to place in here that I felt made sense and filled up the space like in a nice way but um I definitely struggled with Hugo's room the most um and I'm not sure how the footage came out with that one uh past me has obviously edited this video and now present me is stuck doing the voiceover completely unaware of what past me has done exactly because again it's been some time since I actually built this this is Hugo's room <laughs> you'll see that we have picked out like half the furniture this is what I was talking about I struggled so much it just was like not worth including the footage um in straight away because of how much I struggled so Hugo basically gets like a reading nook with lots of plants because I imagine that he really is into like gardening he has this little tv space which I don't actually think he'd probably use that much I think he'd more so like read like read and do gardening and things like that he has a little study nook which I end up changing to be next to his bed and I put a second wardrobe in just to fill in space because again I was so lost with this room um like I even thought about putting a fireplace in here I struggled to find paintings that I liked uh Hugo's personality was very difficult to decorate for so if you guys have re like given the Villa Reals a makeover or like redesign their house did you guys struggle <laughs> with the kids rooms or is it just me because I just felt like they just didn't have enough personality for me to be able to really dive in but I'm obviously happy with how the rooms turned out in the end um I think that they they look nice and they have everything that they need this family probably has like every games item or activity that you could want for your sims so I'm obviously happy with how it turned out it was just a bit of a struggle to get here get here but there you'll see I added the extra wardrobe um, I think it looks really nice and I don't again get to use those very often so um, maybe it was a blessing in disguise but I imagine maybe Hugo might want to go to university and study like gardening or something like that so study cooking so I gave him that little study nook um because he is currently a teen but I imagine him being more of like a young adult so um I gave him that little study nook and then we move on into Luna's room so again Luna's ensuite has been done already um I didn't include any of the bathrooms uh, this video alone would have been over an hour long if I had to include the furnishing of those so I do apologize if you do like seeing the bathroom designs in houses. I'm actually really happy with the bathrooms in these ones. Um, I think that I was able to get like enough personality into the kids en suites. So, but yeah, anyway, talking about Luna's room, I imagine that she was like into music and just kind of like an overachiever. Um, so we start off with this bed here, but I do swap it out and kind of end up going for more of like a purple and blue color scheme. Um, I originally was going very heavily into the pink, but I think the purple and blue look really nice together. It's not something that I have done before, if I can think correctly. I usually lean towards pink. Um, and her personality was screaming very pink to me at first, but I'm happy with the choice I made. Um, but anyway, I think that, yeah, Luna's obviously an overachiever. Uh, she is into painting and like creativity and music and all of that. So she gets an easel. She gets her own keyboard in here. She obviously has a desk set up 
um, and then I just include lots and lots of posters um, and lots of like school high school um, memorabilia stuff so cheerleading I imagine she's in more than one club she's in a club I think I think she comes in game when you start up a new game in a club like one of the social ones so she's obviously a social butterfly um, and you know I think she's just a very creative sim I kind of dove into her personality probably the most um, out of the family and I think that was just she was the easiest to kind of come up with more of a storyline too so um, I think that she's probably a little bit spoiled and a little bit entitled but I think that she has like a good heart at the end of the day and she's just a really fun sim to be around so I included lots of color lots of pinks lots of purples lots of blues as I said in her room and just like lots of teenage girl kind of stuff so um, yeah her room is one of my favorites um, just for the sake of all of the color and clutter and things like that so I did struggle a little bit with the kind of like entryway here but um overall I'm really really happy with it and then the last room that we do actually decorate is Jacques room um, you'll see here that he has his own ensuite and he also has like a more walk-in robe style wardrobe which I did fully decorate um, however I don't believe I showed it on camera but his room was a really long and awkward shape so I do add this like sitting area here um, with like a TV just in case he wants to like chill out away from the kids um, and then he's got his like sleeping space uh, up on a platform um, again didn't really know what to do in here because he honestly personally for me doesn't have like a lot of personality I've never actually played with the family though so maybe I'm wrong I don't know but I just included like some typical clutter pieces pieces sorry I cannot talk today um we're getting to the end of the video and I'm just starting to stumble over my words but um we do get some clutter pieces just some basic stuff nothing super exciting again he's got the bookcase I include some washing baskets and some just photos and things that I think fit I add a couple of things up on the fireplace here uh, using the red shelf to make sure everything sits nicely and yeah I don't know his room is very basic but I'm happy with how it turned out in the end and then I actually do believe that we decorate the garage which I completely forgot about so the garage I use as like an actual garage space um, I put like a debug car in there and here you'll see I went through the debug menu and I pulled out so much stuff so it was just easier to cut that so you guys didn't have to watch me struggle through the debug menu but I think the only usable things in here is I put like some fitness equipment in here and then up on the little platform I do add like the flower arranging table and some gardening stuff for Hugo but this is it for the video today we are going to be moving into the screenshots screenshots <laughs> shortly and I am also running out of the ability to talk so I'm going to wrap up the voiceover now if you don't want to download this one it is up on the gallery now my id is at arcade fox and yeah make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already follow me over on instagram and twitter all of my details are down below and yeah hopefully I will see you all in the next one bye guys